What's up, y'all? I'm here. Got the V's in the back. V2C's. This V2 sedan. 2013. With some mods done to it. Not gonna say which mods are done, but got his mods done. And I got mine. 14 coupe stock. I can get in the parts together for it right now. But Caesar's about to show you. Um, he's actually just about to show how on some of these packages for the V's they came with uh, Alcantara steering wheels and shifters. Um, so he's about to show how you can restore your uh, Alcantara and actually bring it back to life. Because if most of you don't know, watch me bring you guys around. Most of y'all don't know, Alcantara tends to wear down at the time, as you see, on the dirty ass car. But it almost looks like like a regular, just like rubber material. I Even mean, if you see here, it's like smooth. But you bring it down, you can bring it back and give it back. It almost looks like suede. It's essentially the same thing. Oh, that's crooked. But. Got the boy Caesar getting all his stuff ready in the back. He's back there somewhere, hidden. He all unknown face or what? Okay. Unknown face? Unknown face? No, we got we got unknown face. But we're gonna jump into it in just a minute. And the boy, see? What you putting in there? Meth. <laughs> hey, cause it fixes all things, right? Oh yeah. Steam clean is well, just but a for basic. The, for the Alcantara. Well, no, just in general for stains and shit, so. Like, harder to get stains, like, uh, you could get gum, gum from it. Like, it just it really depends on how you, like, really try to use it. Now, you have to be very careful when cleaning it, though. Let's, Let's see, so you use a steamer, and what else do you use when you're cleaning it? My brush. So you gotta buy a specific brush It's for very it. specific. If you don't get the right one, it's hella dirty right now and shit, but. Um, but yeah. they get the point though. This is a specific. So, is it for suede or for Alcantara? Suede. I mean, it's a suede thing, Alcantara. Yeah? Same stuff, essentially. It's about the same. It's it really dirty and shit, so you'll okay. see it. And then just a microfiber. Just a little microfiber, just to. <laughs> yes, sir. Ah! Uh, my tire! We need tires! <laughs> you need tires. I'm chilling. I know. I <laughs> it's like, it's like I'm chilling, bro. I'm what, cool. What size are you? 265. 35s. Oh, 35s. What are you? 35s. But they look stretched. Yeah, yeah. yours look stretched. Fuck. But they're 285s? 275. 75. 275. That's why they look a little stretched. Are they 10, though, right? I don't know. 10 inch rear? I think so. These these are things are squared. That's why they look. I hope so. Yeah, like, I <laughs> hope. Yeah, let's do it, man. All right, for this sure. This is just fucking steaming up, right now. up right now. We might have to make a run to 7-Eleven. Let's go get some more. It's all good. We hop in the car and go get some more. Take the V. Which one? Which one? <laughs> You're gonna have to give them a. Was it a? We started it up today. Uh, it's, yeah, it's already started up today. Ah, uh, no cold, cold start, no cold start. No cold start. You can give them a start though. I Let gotta always, yeah, true. I gotta always submit, uh, send you a cold start video. You can. Let me fix the paint a little bit. That sucks. And that sucks, man. We should come out with more merch. LSX. <laughs> they don't fucking ever answer me. Who? LSX, if you ever see this, never answer my text. <laughs> It's hard to get through on, on social media. Yeah. Trust me. It's like, you hit them up a lot until eventually they're just like, all right, what? The fuck does this fucker want? It's like, what do you want? You like a sponsorship? <laughs> all right, night's off, so I mean, it's ready. All right, let's hop over here and then let's go see. It's gonna get wet, so it just. Wear, clo wear clothes that you don't like? I mean, it doesn't matter. This is water. But I think we'll start to see right now. Yep, you see? It's already peeling off all that 
excess shit. And now you grab your brush and you're gonna be able to scrape some of it off. Kind of brush it a little bit and then gotta get in there. And now you'll notice that as you can feel it, if you wanna feel it or whatever, you can tell from right here to right here the difference. Well, you can even cut it already. already. Yeah. So I think you see how it's all like right here and then you look right there. So all this comes off. So you just wipe that down. Yeah, and this tell. is why you need a little microfiber. It's gonna be a nasty process and shit, but you know, it is what it is. It takes time. It takes a lot of time. <laughs> Essentially. So look, if it's dry, for example, with the brush. scratches it. Yeah, and you won't. But as you can tell already right here, you're you're able to kind of see already that it, it is uh, Alcantara. Essentially, it's just heating everything up with a little bit of steam without damaging the little fibers and shit. And, you know, if you also have one of those little, like, what do they call it, like the... Uh, for your clothes, like when you get a little, uh, like Stick. little, the little circles, you know, on like sweaters and shit. Oh, lint roller? Yeah, lint roller. You know, you can use one of those to kind of trim out some hairs. Because sometimes when you do this, uh, it becomes a little hairy. Mm -hmm, okay. So you gotta use that to. Seeing like, you know, the CTSVs with like the, the leather, it's but cool. it looks yeah. cheap. Yeah, exactly. So you see all of that just... But Alcantara, like, it gets leathered down like that. It looks almost like leather yeah. when it gets worn out. But you can always, you know, bring it back. And now you can grab the rag and kind of wipe it down too. If you don't have a, like, the little brush and shit, it would kind of be the same shit. But as you can tell... Oh, yeah. Just yeah. taking off that dirtiness, the the first layer. Yeah, so, so you know, uh, yeah, just I feel it. Got a maintenance, maintenance. Oh, dude, you can hella tell the difference, Randy. So I, I mean, you like can feel actually, it. You, feel you it? could even see just. Oh fuck yeah, you, you could for sure. See, I, I was trying to tell him, you know, you don't, you don't need a new steering wheel, you know, just, you gotta. Yeah, because a little love. Yeah, because I was a, I was about to buy a new steering wheel, and that makes sense now. Save so, yourself, save yourself like fuck, four hundred bucks on all the steering wheel. Yeah, and then for it to do the same shit, you know. Yeah, it's eventually gonna. I mean, over time, it's just gonna leathering. But as you can tell right here now, it's starting to look a lot better. You could just see like in this area compared to this area, like. How many camera, miles does your car have? Oh, now well, I got it at 60, but I, I've driven it a lot, but I got it at 60, and it looked like that with 60. So, whatever miles he has on this car, this is what the steering wheel would look like. Let's say let's say about 80. About 80. 80k miles, yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense. You know, yeah. that's 80k miles worth of driving. Driving, doing lot, everything, like, whatever yeah. you do. And even this, too. I mean, I don't know if you guys see Oh, that. yeah, no, we're good. Yeah, yeah now I'm nice. showing them, like... If you guys see, like, on here, how it's, that's how the whole screen will work. But then you can see cut it down here. I still kind of, I can tear it down there a little bit, but we'll bring it all back to life. So, obviously, what do you go by on Instagram so they can follow you? I'm, Me too, see. I'm going to put that right up in here somewhere. Somewhere in the video, I'll put that. Or even down below. So, you Me go by what? Sees. Me too, see. Sir. Me Two and then C E E Z Z. Yes, sir. Double E, double Z. Yes, sir. All right. How'd you Good. get in? How'd you get into? Uh, how'd you get that name? Like, what? What made you want to go to that name? My car, mainly. I wanted to uh, hop on the little trend of you know, oh V two, whatever. Yeah. Basic bitch, you know. <laughs> when it comes to names, so. What got you into like cars? My older brother. Yeah. What did he drive? 
335. 335. Their eye? 335. Yes. Why a CTSV? Why not? It's a Corvette with a tuxedo on. Indeed. The practicality of a four door, you know, four doors and more whores. My nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Four doors, more kids. <laughs> that too. <laughs> well, Caesar's whip. Let's get a start on this thing. Ooh, that be running. Ooh, that be running. We're in the infamous B2 Caesar's car. Yeah. Honestly. I didn't tell him what was done in your car, but what would you say in a short manner of what's done in your car? Wow. Yeah. Cam full boltons, 85, ported heads. Yeah, a lot of things. I got single set too. Here I come. It just sits you back in your seat. It just sounds good. It's just, you see it's like right here, idle. Not too loud, but on the outside, chopping. And it's good, because honestly, I mean, I don't know how, like if you guys are aware, like boosted cars, having the choppiest cam is never really like the best thing, but you this will kill your performance. Yeah, it, it cuts your performance down, but this car still has a really good chop and still has really good performance. But he's running on a stock stall and dude, that shit gets down. This shit's dope. But we're about to run in real quick, get some uh, get some water, get a drink or something, and then head back, go finish up the steering wheel. We'll get back. Sir. All right, so we came to 7-Eleven over here by Caesar's house, but I ain't had no distilled water, so we on to the next. Hey, if you get a CTSV though, you get no pussy from me. So. Yeah. Don't, don't think cars equals girls, because that is not how it works. You just get a bunch, especially a CTSV. I feel like you just get a bunch of old ass dudes. The most common question I hear is, what's under that hood? <laughs> what's under that hood? What's yeah, under the hood? You hear it at gas stations? Yeah. So he's at a gas station where he started up. You know the guy from, uh,
love it, bro. <laughs> Yeah, dude, it just brings me smiles, bro. Just here, dude. Place number two. No water, no distilled water. Motherfucker. <laughs> so we're going to good old faithful Walmart. You can't go wrong. It's got it. It has water and crackheads. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> Did you hear him? He like ah, because it's just loud. Yeah. <laughs> For pharmacy, the pharmacy's already closed. I don't give a fuck. I know that's what I'm saying. What happens when you're looking at me? Oh, this lady's like, <laughs> oh, she hit herself with the door. Huh? She hit herself with the door. She opened it inside. So puzzling. It's so big. I'm gonna leave this shit right here, bro. Cool. Should I take the camera in? If you want, talk to around and find it. out. What's up, man? We're pulling missions here, you know. We're gonna get this distilled water. We're on the yeah. hunt. We're on the hunt, man. Hey, okay, okay, okay. Throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. Okay, okay, okay. We secured the package. Secured the package. All right, hold up, bro. I, I, I gotta get me some pockets, bro. Which ones? You want some too? I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Nah. I'm gonna wake up the next day in the middle of the night. It's special. <laughs> just, just. Oh, yeah. Taco Bell special. <laughs> I don't know how that is. Oh, That's the worst. You need anything else or what? You know what? Matter of fact, I do. What you need? I need to get on your four, knee, on your four legs. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, shit. Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. Cash me out, bruh. Cash me out. Cash me outside. How about that? Alright, time to go get some E85. Next time you see us, we're gonna be getting E85. Alright, we'll be back in just a second. Finally made it back from Walmart. Found up E, and then we're gonna go finish up the car real quick for the night before it starts raining. So after maybe a couple minutes, once we got back from the gas station, uh, he got down on it. And this is honestly like what it looks like now. You guys could kind of see like the stitching on that side, like throughout the whole thing just came back to life. You just see like the difference. Like you can actually feel it soft and smooth. And it actually looks, it looks good now. It looks back, the Alcantara is back. And just like that, that's how you bring it back. Yes, sir. And most people don't even know shit it's pretty easy just time consuming yeah no like it took us uh, not us because i didn't do anything i'm just sitting here just recording but i gotta look at the rag now yeah so look so it. that was clean before if you guys remember on top of the roof like that thing was clean now that's how much grind that that steering wheel had you just got to be able to brush it out clean it out and that's just from over the years like because i'm obviously second owner of this car so the owner before obviously i mean he said that caesar was saying that it could be from having lotion on your hands, just a bunch of things, having oil, grease. lotion, grease, you know, just just the grime on your hands ends up on the Alcantara. And over time, like he obviously didn't clean it before I got the car, the gentleman who had it before. So then this is probably the first cleaning it's had in since 2014. So, I mean, you know, you could, it's almost what, 10 years almost. Oh, it's like, raining now, let me close your door. Uh, eight years. Oh, shit. Yeah. Eight years, so it's been a minute, so. 